Here's the app you have created so far, which is the theme demo app. As you can see, this is the action bar in this app. And the action bars are pretty useful to provide shortcuts to the user. Shortcuts like say settings or search, or it can be like create a new item, something like that. So you, uh, you must have seen apps which have like shortcuts in their action bar and from where you can do different kind of operations. So let's see how you can add an add an action item to this action bar. Okay, so there are three steps uh, for doing this. The first is you have to come to the menu resource file. Now, if, if you go to your res folder, that is resource folder, and you go to the menu folder, uh, subfolder, then you'll see a menu main XML. Okay. And this is the XML file which is generated by default when you create a new project. Okay, so it is here that you can add new um, menu items which are displayed in the action bar. Okay, the other two places where you need to modify is like in your activity class, you need to override two methods which are overridden by default when you create a new project. One is the on create options menu and one is on options item selected. So the first one tells Android, you know, the activity that when it's displaying the, uh, the screen, the UI, then it needs to uh, inflate the menu main XML file, which we just saw. So this actually creates the action items. Okay, and the second one handles the events when you click on an action item. Okay. So that's these are the three primary components that you need to modify. Now let's go ahead and make some changes to show this in action. Okay. In the menu main XML, what I'm going to do is, uh, so when you create a new item, I mean a action item, then you have few attributes that you need to specify. One is ID, one is order in category, which means the order where the item should display. One is the title, which is like the settings, which you can see here. So this is the settings. Okay. And if you notice, then currently it's displayed in the overflow option. I mean, when you click on this, these three dots, what if we want to display it here? What if we want to display an icon, a settings icon or some sort of icon over here, which might look nice to the user. So these are the few attributes that you need to add. Let's go ahead and add an icon attribute, uh, which will display an icon. Okay, so there are some, there are some shortcuts. There are some images already available in Android, and we are going to use that. Simply say Android drawable, and then you will get a list of options like button star. Um, you can see, you know, on the left side, you can preview the images also. So we can use any of these. Let's, for example, use a button plus sign for now. Okay. And show as action is an important attribute. Now it has like four possible values. One is never, one is always. Always means that show this icon always in the action bar. Uh, one is if room. So if room. Okay. And if room means if, if there's space available, then show the icon so like I'll, I'll go for always because we want to see <clears throat> you know our image uh, let's build and run the project and see what happens now so <clears throat> when you do this um, expectation is that the image should get displayed over here but let's see what happens okay. okay so it doesn't get displayed and we still see the settings title so why this is happening? Uh, if you notice, then show as action is using a app, um, you know, a app attribute, and that's coming from the app compat library, the v7. Now there is some conflict uh, when you are using a dependency in your project. What I'm going to do is uh, going to remove this dependency. Uh, so you can open your Gradle file, which is build.gradle file and simply remove this okay and uh, the other changes will be we'll stop using the app we'll use the android okay and we'll remove this app 
nothing from here because we are no longer using the compact and it will ask you to sync the project so just sync the project okay and other things will remain you you might see a warning message like this but that's okay it's it's not an issue um, so once this is done once the sync is done we'll go ahead and run the project again and now we are not using the app compact library v7 so let's see what happens when you know when the app runs so dependency because since uh, since we are using a higher api version we don't need that dependency okay so now you can see this icon getting displayed here now this icon can be you know anything you can uh, put your own image in the app and you can display it here so this is this is pretty cool right so what we'll do next is um, you will explore how the on click of this icon happens like when a user clicks on this what happens so we'll we'll explore that in the next video for now just go ahead and try this out and i'll check in the code and provide the link for you okay thanks